has no right to be in a camp. You know, so however you do it, however you work out your salvation is on you. Just different routes and, and, and uh, actions you take can make it more difficult, you know? Yeah, because being in a, being in a camp is a, is a head. And if you, may, you get into a camp and then you feel comfortable, you feel like, oh, I'm in a camp, I'm good. <laughs> That's not a good mentality to have. And it's still, it's still, it's still you still working on your own salvation. You're in a camp, but you're not like this. Just because two or three members of the camp get saved, doesn't mean every single member is going to get saved. Corn is sifted in a seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. So if you have if you've had ample opportunity and you've been warned a whole bunch of times, the the blood is basically off of our hands. You know, I don't you know it's, the blood is off of our hands. And if you are of the elect, it says that the least grain shall not hit the ground. So my suggestion would be, like I, like I said before, you got to get this for yourself. You got to be able to, to preach this word on your own. Now if you need, if you have to uh, write down a list of scriptures you're going to bring out for the camp, then that's what you got to do. But you gotta keep. You have to continue. You gotta keep going. You gotta. You gotta. You know. Yeah. If not, then that means you didn't. You didn't believe. Like what we. What we doing the whole time. You have plenty of time to learn. You have plenty of time. Still got the, you still got the videos, brothers teaching. Instead of wasting your time, you need to be productive with your time. work out your own salvation, man, with fear and trembling. And so, you got to continue. All right, Yahweh Shai is the Lord, Yahweh Shai is the judge. All 
right? None of us are. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. For we which have believed do enter into rest. And the way that you enter into rest is you rest upon the Lord now. And it talks about how Abraham, our forefathers, they, they will use rocks as pillows. Man. The rock is, is the outer shell. Man. That's supposed to be your rest, your foundation, right? Oh, I have, I have this grace and I have this liberty as long as I continue in, in well-doing, right? So we know that we have a hedge about us that Yahweh Shai is with us because we are continuing in this in this grace, man. We're, we're still doing the work of the Lord, man. And you have to believe that if the Lord didn't want you doing the work, you wouldn't be doing it. So if you don't do the work, that's because Yahweh Shai didn't allow you to do it, to, to continue. It says, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise. And Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, the powers did rest the seventh day from all his works. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest, Seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. So you see that the seventh day it was completed, right? So the work was already finished from the beginning. Because that seventh day that was the rest. So we're entering into that rest. The Yahweh Shai completed the work. Right? So we're entering into that. Because it's already Look, the game, it's already fixed. It's already... The, the Israel wins, man. The elect win. Esau and the other nations are going to be destroyed. All these problems... We're just out here telling you what's going to happen. And we're hoping to be saved uh, uh, by Yahweh Shai from, from our sins, from, from our transgressions, from the condition of our bodies. And that you have to believe that you've entered into the rest. But you got to continue in that. Again, he limited a certain day saying in David, today, after so long a time, it is said, today if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. For if Yahweh Shai had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day. There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of Yahweh, which is the Israelites. For he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works, as Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai did from his. Right? So we cease from our own works, from our own lives, in order to give our life to this. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Does any man fall at the same example of unbelief? So that true rest, see, right now we're, the rest is, you're resting in the knowledge that the rest is coming. See what I'm saying? Right now you have that, that uh, uh, was it, uh, the down payment, the earnest of the Spirit. So you have, you have that taste, because it talks about the tasting the heavenly gift, right? So you have that taste, right? You're waiting for the full, for the full buyback to come, which is when the chariots actually deliver you into the sky. Man. That's the that's the fullness of it. That's when it that's the, the the complete end, right? And really the beginning, the end of this world, and the beginning of Jacob's, right? So we're laboring to enter into that rest. So you have to continue into that in that labor. If you don't believe, then you're not even going to try. You're not even going to fucking try. And then it'll be revealed where where your head was at the whole time. Because if you believe, you're going to go out there. If not, then that's, uh, that's was it, 2nd and 1st John 2 and 19. 
says in 2 Thessalonians 3 and 13, But ye brethren, be not weary in well doing. And if any man obey not our word by this epistle, note that men and have no company with him, that he may be ashamed. Yet account him not as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. Yep, you're not a, you're not an enemy, but you have to continue in the things in which you have learned. Yeah, you're being admonished, which means to be warned. Yeah, what can happen if you don't continue in what you couldn't do around brothers? Okay, so now you have to figure it out for yourself. But you're being admonished, you're being warned that if you don't continue, you're not fit for the kingdom of heaven. But we're not killing you as a We just, you know, those brothers that fall out the camps or get separated, you just, you just don't deal with them directly, you know? You don't deal with them at all. You know, you might, you might pray for them, but really there's certain cases where you just pass that. Brothers have to pray for themselves because maybe they weren't doing that in the first place. You know, it's all, it's all, when they tell you in a court of law, every case is different. It's all through the Spirit, bro. Yeah. It's all through the Spirit. So, hey, if you pick up your slack and do what you're supposed to do, you don't know how the Spirit's going to happen down the line. You have to wait, you have to see what happens, but you ain't gonna know what's happening. You ain't you ain't gonna know what happens if you don't continue. That's why this is a strong, this is a strong urge not to give up. Alright? Just look at look at the other brother, you know. And what happened with his situation? He continues to fight. You have it in you. You have plenty of time, man. You have plenty of time. Uh, you had years. All right, you had years. Plus being in the being in the camp for a little over a year. So, with that, I'm going to say, you know, all praise. Alright, double honors to the elders and apostles, apostles and elders, great millstone, peace, love, and blessing to the hopefully black, to the scattered across the four corners of the earth, pushing the word and truth in this sincerity. Alright, till next time, shalom. Shalom.